Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Oh boy, is this one where, is where the Terminator films got downhill. Released in 2003 and wasn't directed by James Cameron. And was it directed by Jonathan Mosto, I think. Now, if you know, in the first and second Terminator movies, they were basically directed by James Cameron, of course. But there were some memorable and great things about the first two. They were best and had a good story. And also, also were directed by James Cameron. And that's what made these two movies stand out well. And also the plot. However, Terminator Rise of the Machines is definitely, in my own opinion, when the Terminator films got a little bit downhill. And I mean downhill. Let's talk about the plot. It's about, of course, a T-800 that, for some odd reason, because Skynet's destroying the sequel, for some odd reason needs to protect John Connor, who's an adult now, from the T-X, who is a female Terminator. Now, I'm not saying that because of she's a female, okay? It's okay. Um, it's just, though, that it's just weird to see a female Terminator. But... Anyway, so it's about um AT eight hundred and the T X try and the T eight hundred trying to rescue John Connor from the T X. So and also there's also a bunch of stuff about Skynet, of course. Now you probably know the first and two Terminator movies were rated R, but nowadays because of the Terminator three, uh now it's getting a PG thirteen rating, of course, just to market figures even though Terminator 2 got figures and it was rated R but of course um, Stan Winston was of course since he's a legend created the Terminators and that the Terminators that they did use for this movie um let's talk about the actors starting with John Connor um he's all right like he more represents Carl Reese from the first Terminator movie but there's nothing to really it, well, there's nothing really wrong with that. He also has a girlfriend, which is Kate Connor, which she's okay in the movie. She wasn't 100% a great actor, but she was okay. Um, so, of course, um, she and John Connor, of course, are together in this movie. Now let's talk about, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator. And, of course, like all the Terminator films, he's the best actor in all of them, which is awesome. And he's going to be a good actor in this movie. So now, let's talk about the TX. Now, there's nothing hugely wrong with this um, Terminator being a female. But, in my own opinion, this Terminator just looks a bit sexualized, in my own opinion. I don't know. But, she has some capabilities like the T-800, the T-1000, sorry. So anyway, let's now dive into one thing that I really liked about the movie. And that is action. This movie... Um, since I know the first two did have action in it, but holy moly, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines has balls of action. I mean, we have, like, cars ramming into each other, like, action scenes, um, like, cars blowing up, even machine guns just firing at people, all that stuff. And Terminator 3, in my opinion, is just filled with action. I mean, this movie has so much action. It's just nuts. In my own opinion, I recommend this to like Terminator fans if they've already if they haven't seen it yet. But if you're viewing this as a Terminator movie, maybe. But it doesn't like at the like at the end of the sequel, you get Skynet destroyed, and for some odd reason, Skynet's back. So I don't know what do you guys think about Terminator: Free Rise of the Machines. I want to see your opinions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like, and see you guys next time.